I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Before I get into this video, I want to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. I'm so happy my channel is growing. Do you know how people with autism have sensory issues? Well, in this video, I will be showing you some good sensory tools for people with autism. If you are an OT teacher or your child has autism, I hope you find this video helpful. Let's get into the video! Do you know how people with autism are sensitive to noise and how being in a noisy place like their school's cafeteria or the mall is hard for them? Well, a good tool for that issue is headphones. Noise canceling headphones are best for this, but regular headphones work too. Headphones are a great way to block out overstimulating noise. You can even plug the headphones into a phone or iPod so they can listen to music or even relaxing sounds such as sound effects from the beach. People with autism are also sensitive to lights. So you can use sunglasses to block out bothersome lights. Another good sensory tool is to play addicting online games. For example, Happy Wheels. Online games are great when you've had a long day and are stressed out. And they are fun too. Video games can be good as well. Another good tool to relieve stress is head massagers. Massages in general are good for stress. Another good sensory tool is definitely slime. Slime is an amazing way to relieve stress because it's very soft and squishy, and you can stretch it. There are many different types of slime, and they're all great. However, be careful when playing with it. Slime can be pretty messy if you're not careful. If you're looking for a non-messy option, I recommend squishies, for example, stress balls. Like slime, there are many different types of squishies and stress balls, and they are all great. Not only are squishy toys good for autism, but so are fidget toys, like fidget spinners and fidget cubes. Fidget spinners come in many different designs, which is great. Another great sensory tool for autism are toys that you flip upside down and right side up, and it has a cool effect. People with autism find these toys to be relaxing. Another good sensory tool is to watch ASMR videos. ASMR videos are very relaxing and stress relieving. They have ASMR videos about slime, kinetic sand, and all kinds of things. They even have ASMR videos about baking. Another great sensory tool for autism is to go on a swing. There's something about swinging that people with autism find comforting. People with autism find fast movement of their bodies to be comforting. Lastly, I recommend using the autistic person's hobbies as a sensory tool. As you might not know, I have Asperger's, a form of high-functioning autism. But I love to build 3D models on the computer. For some odd reason, Whenever I have a meltdown, building 3D models on the computer calms me right down. For example, if you have autism but love to sing, just sing. Or if you love gymnastics, do some gymnastics. Hobbies are a great way to be less stressed. The truth is, meltdowns are a person with autism's way of telling someone they are stressed out. So anything that relieves stress should help. That's it for this video. I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to share some more good sensory tools in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.